Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course we are at the uh, videos where we talk about the Windows 10 May 2019 update. So uh, updated questions once again to um, people that are wondering what's this all about and re-explaining a little bit more of the um, Windows updates mostly because people are a little mixed up as what is going to happen. So the questions for this video have to do with how the changes of Windows Update are really going to be what people want. Actually, this is a major change and it's exactly what users want on their computer. Basically, what's happening is that Microsoft has now understood that these big feature updates are not what everybody wants. So it won't push it to you unless you're at the uh, end of a life cycle of a version of Windows. So one of the first misunderstandings that a lot of people have is, yeah, but I thought Windows 10 was, you know, good until 2025 or something, you know, 10 year cycle, typically. Yeah, at the basics, um, the support for Windows 10, that's what basically they want to do. But the problem is, is Windows 10 is not like any other operating system before. It's a constantly evolving system. So it gets feature updates twice a year. So feature updates are the big changes that basically are really complete Windows 10 installs, if you want, on your PC every time. And of course, that really gives you an, a, a big, um, it's a big deal because it's a major reinstall. So chances of something going wrong are much higher than say just a cumulative update. These feature updates twice a year were pushed on you and it was automatic. But the thing is, the feature updates each have a life cycle of 18 months. So for example, the October 2018 update that some of you have right now, that October 2018 update will expire sometime at the uh, beginning of 2020 so at the mid to, you know beginning to mid 2020 it's really 18 month cycle so just look at 18 months from October and you know think about it when it will actually be uh, be gone actually from even September because it's uh, version um, 1809 so after 18 months typically you have to move on to a new version of Windows 10 so that's why it's 18 months cycle. That means if you have the May 2019 update show up next month, it'll be good for 18 months. You'll be okay for 18 months without having to reinstall a new feature update. That's why Microsoft is going to push the feature updates in a different slot than the cumulative regular updates. It will be there. It will tell you every time you go to Windows Update, they're going to tell you there's a feature update available if you want but it's not going to install it as long as you don't actually click the install button from it. Then it will trigger an install. So some of you that want to have the latest version, you'll have the possibility to get it. And some of you that are just great on whatever version you have, as long as it doesn't expire soon, will be able to keep that version if you wish to stay on it. Now what happens after 18 months? After 18 months, if you do nothing, you will automatically be pushed to the latest feature update. So after 18 months, you do nothing. Your computer one day will just say, okay, well, your you know version of Windows 10 is going to expire soon. We're pushing to you the next feature update because that's where you'll be safe once again and have cumulative updates and security updates to stay safe on the Internet. The uh, other thing is the... Uh, how to defer updates. So they actually are introducing also with the May 2019 update the possibility to defer updates up to 35 days. That means it will work seven days at a time but have a total of 35 days availability. And some of you that have clean installed the latest version actually see it. Uh, for those that upgrade, well at some point it's going to show up somehow 
I've looked at mine and it's still not there, but it, it should show up at some point. Now, um, the other question about Windows Update. Well, insiders I've heard are moving fast ring to 20H1. That means that 19H2 or the next version of Windows next uh, this fall is, you know, it's not going to happen. Yes, it is. They're still doing 19H2. But what we think is happening is that there'll be a major and a minor update. So 19H2 will be a minor update. 20H1 next year will be a major update. And we think that's pretty much what now they're going to actually focus on. And insiders will be testing both version at some point. So it's good news for the uh, Windows 10 user because, I mean, so many of you have been annoyed with these updates all the time. I think it's a good thing to um, understand that we are moving to um, a way where Windows is not you know, as aggressive and where you have the possibility to choose. This also will also, uh, this will, of course, make it interesting to see in the statistics of what's happening. Um, it will be interesting to see when we get, you know, version numbers and, and we get uh, information about the amount of people on each version of Windows. What is it going to affect? Uh, this is an interesting one because we'll be wondering who stays put on older versions and how many people are actually moving ahead. But at least, you know, there'll be probably two kinds of people, those that move ahead and those that don't. One last question that I've got from people, because some of you have been wondering, um, considering that it's not impossible that as future updates go through for Windows 10, that some hardware might be left behind. And that happened in the past. We had a couple of versions of Windows where the actually said, well, if you're using this hardware, we're not going to be compatible with it. And so you're not getting any other uh, versions. But people then said, okay, but that means what? We're going to have 18 months. It's different. There's something that they actually are going to do that seems to be that if you are stuck on one of those that doesn't update to a new feature update, you're getting more of a lifespan of the, the that 10 year lifespan until 2025 you're just going to get some you know security updates but you're not going to get any new feature updates because you're not compatible unfortunately there's no way of knowing when a pc is going incompatible is there's no way of knowing what hardware is not going com to be compatible with um, a, a future update there's kind of it's it's almost as if microsoft just decides you know off the top of their head just well, we're going to, you know, these these hard, this hardware we're not going to support anymore. And typically we'll know only at the moment of these feature updates. So that means you'll get feature updates until that could happen. Right now they're not very aggressive with that. They're, they're, we haven't had any feature updates recently. Like the May 2019 update does not have any block on any specific hardware, um, even though, you know, a lot of PCs and a lot of, people on Windows 10 are actually on PCs that are very uh, old. Some of you are running Windows 10 on 10-year-old PCs. You're probably more at risk. If your PC is only five or six years old, I don't think you're going to be the ones, uh, you know, affected. And, and the times that they did that, it affected mostly the very low-end hardware, where the uh, CPU and the, the, the device was at minimum requirement for running Windows 10, actually. And uh, so that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, last question that I have also is uh, minimum requirements. You know, my PC has two gigs of RAM. Will it be able to have an May 2019 update? If it's running the April 2018 or October 2018 update, it'll run the May 2019 update. The minimum requirements of Windows 10 haven't changed in a few years now there is a minimum requirement of at least two gigabytes of RAM for the 64-bit version. And I believe it's a one gigabyte of RAM for the 32-bit version. But honestly, uh, if you're running with just that of RAM, you're going to find Windows 10 really slow because um, you, there's not it's not enough space um, in RAM for, for it to run really well. And you're better off getting at least four gigabytes or more of RAM to have it working better. So these are some of the questions and answers we are today 
um, April the 8th, Monday, April 8th, and hope you enjoy our little update on the situation. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.